In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the knock sensors on this Mercedes E350. Let's get into it. In the trunk, lift this latch and we can secure that right there. That'll stay up there. Underneath here, that's where the battery is located. We'll just use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up the negative side. and slide that off, set that aside. Take these air ducts out, just pull them straight forward and pull them up. They may be a little more difficult than that, but that's the idea. Just pull those out. Pop this lock off and just take a screwdriver and just pop that back and grab this panel, slide it up. There's a hose right here, just pop that out. Pop this side up. Pull it off and set it aside. I'm going to disconnect these connectors. Just push down on the tab, slide that back, disconnect this one, slide that back. This one we're going to leave attached to the computer, but we're going to disconnect the other one. Just grab this tab right here, slide it out, slide the connector off as well like that. Then take the computer, pull it up, and we'll just carefully lay this over out of the way. It's the connector at the air pump. Just disconnect this. You're going to push down on the tab on the top and one on the bottom. And slide that back. Just push that. Disconnect the connectors over here. Just push down on the tab. Slide it off. Just trying to get some slack on this side. There's some wire ties. You can cut the wire ties. Just with some side cutters. Disconnect the connector here. Just push down on that tab. You may have to pop that lock tab up a little bit. And there should be a tab right here. Disconnect that one. This one's broken. And if there's a retainer holding the wiring harness on, pop that out. And just disconnect this wire as well. And this is just going to be loose here. I'm not going to disconnect the wire way down at the alternator. I'll just leave that. That's fine. Using a E10 socket, we're going to take some of these bolts out. This one over here. I am going to take this bracket off just because it'll help get it out of the way a little bit. There's another one right here. Lifts up. On top, we're going to take these screws out, use a T30 socket. Take this bracket out. While I'm here, I'll take these ones out as well. And that bracket will just stay attached. This screw out. There's two more screws back here. Take these two out. It's all loose. I'm going to disconnect the connectors for the fuel injectors. Just pull up on the lock slightly and push it down. Slide those connectors off. Do the same to the other ones. Let's 
connected. Disconnect the injectors on the other side as well. Other one is attached to the other harness, but I'll just disconnect it anyway. We're gonna take this bracket off here. It's just a retainer holding this on. Squeeze that retainer. Or you can open it up. Open that up, separate that. This wiring harness can go over there. There's a connector under here. We're just gonna disconnect that connector, push it down on the tab, and slide that up. There we go. Gives you a little bit of slack. I'm trying to get the wires out of the way so that when you pull the intake up, they're not in the way. Take this hose off. There's two little tabs. Just push on the tabs. And slide the hose off. Just pop off and just push that out of the way. Disconnect this connector. Just push down on the tab. You might need a pick to slide the lock tab back. Now just take this bracket, we're just gonna spread it apart and slide it up. And disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Just disconnect the hose right here. Just slide that off and you can slide this out. We're gonna take this tube off right here. Just pull that up, it slides out. Connector right here. We'll just slide this back, slide that off the fuel rail. We're going to take the bolts off of the fuel rail. I'm going to use the E10 socket. Take those out. Two on this side, two on the other side. We're going to gently pry the fuel rail up. wiring harness out of the way. And set this aside. We'll take this bracket off right here. Just use the same E10 socket. Take that bolt out. Take the other two bolts out. right here, take that out. E10 socket, there's one right here. And this will be loose. You can move this to the side a little bit. Disconnect this connector, just lift up. Get under the lock with a screwdriver. Try to lift that up. Slide that out, out of the way. Disconnect this connector right here. Slide the little lock up. Just try to slide these out of the way a little bit. On the back near the throttle body, there's a connector. You just wanna push on the tab on the top and the bottom. Slide that off. 
using some needle nose pliers. There's a vacuum line down here. I'm just going to grab it and just slide it off so it doesn't break. There we go. That's off right now. Using a E10 socket, we're going to take all the manifold bolts out. And take all those bolts out. Grab the manifold, slide it up. If there's anything else disconnected, just make sure you disconnect it. Get everything out of your way. Twist it. There's another vacuum line right here. Just pop that off. And slide it out. You can see the knock sensor right here. The other one's over there. The procedure is going to be the same for both of them. Disconnect the connector. Just push down on the tabs. Slide that off. Now using the E10 socket, loosen up the bolt. bolt out and the sensor, take the new knock sensor and the bolt, get that lined up. Make sure it's in the right spot for the connector. You can connect it now before we torque the bolt down just so that's lined up. And carefully, we're going to torque this bolt to 14 foot-pounds. Tip the intake over, and you want to make sure you clean the surface area where the gasket's going to go. Just wipe it down with a rag. It's a brake parts cleaner. Clean that off. Then you want to do the same on the other side. Uh, if your gasket fell down, you want to take that off. Just wipe away the excess, use some brake parts cleaner, and just clean this surface area. Just don't drop anything into the intake ports. And then you can do the same on the other side. Just to make sure this is all cleaned out and nothing fell down, I'm just going to take some compressed air and just spray it down the intake ports. All right, that's good. I'll take the gaskets. I'm going to line these up here very carefully. Okay, those are lined up. Now I'll take the intake, slide it in, and just try not to move the gaskets. Before you push this all the way down, you want to get these vacuum lines on. This one's going to go right here. Push that on. And this other one, try to get this one on before you go all the way down, just to make it easier. We did take this one off with needle nose. If you need to, you can use the needle nose to put it back on. Make sure the gasket looks like it's lined up. If you need to, you can use a pick to make adjustments. Take all the bolts, get the bolts started.
snug these down. I'm just going to work my way from the center and go outwards. Now I'm going to torque those bolts to 80 inch-pounds. go around again, double check, just make sure at least the center four. And those are good. Just want to take a rag and wipe down fuel injectors, just clean those up. It's a good idea to replace these O-rings. Um, if you don't have any and they look okay, you can reuse them. And just take a little bit of O-ring lubricant, put a little lubricant on the O-rings. Good. And line these up. And push them down in place. That's good. Get the bolts started. Tighten those down. This connector in the back, we'll plug that in. You might have an easier time plugging that in before you put the fuel rail in you choose. Just slide that underneath there. It's good there. And we can take the connector for the injector over here, plug that in. That's good. This hose is going to go in the back. Can slide in right there. Just push that in. This is going to go right here. Attach that to the bracket. And then these are going to be for the fuel injectors. Lock that down. Lock this one down. Take 
this connector slide that on their bracket. That looks good there. Put the retainers to hold this down. And we're going to put the bolts in for this bracket. Get those started. We'll tighten those down. Snug those down. We have this bracket, it's gonna go over here. Get those lined up. And take the connector for the throttle body, line that up, and lock it down. Now I'll take this piece, we're gonna slide the bottom in first, and then kind of roll it upwards. Lock that in place, that's good. Take this hose, it's gonna line up over here, the PCV valve. And then this hose, line this hose up and lock that down. That's good. And slide the mass airflow in place. Just lock that down. Good there. Take the connector, line it up, lock it down. This connector here in the back, we're gonna slide that in place. That's gonna go into the manifold, intake manifold. Then all these other injector connectors, we wanna plug those in. Lock the injectors down. Just like that. Take this plug, line that up, lock that down. All the other plugs over here. This one's gonna go down below. This one's gonna go right here. Push it down. that bracket on there. And connect all the connectors. That's it. If you had a wire tie on there, you could put a wire tie to hold this harness on. Just secure that down. And just trim the excess. And don't forget this connector right here. Lock that down. That's good. All right, that's in place. Put this bracket on in the back. Get the bolts started. Tighten those down. This 
bolt that's gonna go through here for the wire, wire housing bracket. Snug those down. And here and here. These bolts are gonna go in. Get those started. Tighten those down. I'm gonna put the bolt in here. Tighten that down. Snug that down. Two bolts for this wiring harness right here. And right there. Tighten those down. This bracket's gonna go like this. Take the two bolts. There and there. And the other two bolts in the bracket on the other side. Get those started. And snug those down. Grab the computer, flip it over, and plug this in. And as you plug it in, just push that down. It's gonna close. Slide that in. Take the connectors, line those up, lock those down. Sure those are locked down good. Slide this cover over and make sure this hose goes in place. Get that lined up first. And then latch this right there. Put the air ducts in. Slide that in place. And the front cover, slide that on, lock it down. Now reconnect the battery, put the terminal on. Snug it down, give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. Close it up, put that down, and close up the trunk. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.